So we have the graph of y equals f of x right over here. And what we want to do is figure out the limit of f of x as x approaches negative four. So what does that mean? Well, a limit is saying, what is my function approach as the input of that function approaches, in this case, negative four, as the input approaches a value. And as we see in this example, the function doesn't necessarily have to be even defined at that value. We can see f of negative four, you go to x equals negative four, and you see that f of negative four is undefined. So this is not defined. But as we'll see, even though the function isn't defined there, the limit might be defined there. And actually it could go the other way around. Sometimes a function is defined there, but the limit is not. And we'll see that in future videos. But let's just get an understanding here. What's going on as x approaches negative four? As x approaches negative four from values greater than negative four and from values less than negative four. Well, let's first think about values greater than negative four. So when x is negative one, this is f of negative one. This is f of negative two. This is f of negative three. This is f of negative 3.5. This is f of negative 3.9. This is f of negative 3.99. This is f of negative 3.99999. And so you can see the value of our function as x gets closer and closer to negative four from values greater than negative four seems to be approaching six. And let's see if that's true from the other direction, some from values less than negative four. So this is f of negative seven, f of negative six. This is f of negative five, it looks like it's around seven. This is f of negative 4.5, f of negative 4.1, f of negative 4.01, f of negative 4.0000001. It looks like it's getting awfully, it's gonna be a little bit more than six. So it seems as we get closer and closer to six, uh, as we get closer and closer to x equals negative four, the value of our function is approaching positive six.